We're at the Florida Chamber Foundation Education Summit here in Orlando, Florida, where statewide leaders have flown in to discuss not only where we are today, but, but what's really next in uh, Florida's education platform. Uh, we're joined by Frank Fuller of the Florida Senate. Thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Absolutely. And And what exactly were you here to discuss at the conference today? Uh, we were trying to make the message that Florida is doing an incredibly good job of moving to align the pipeline, the training, the things folks need to get into the world of employment. As a concrete example, uh, we gave the example where Emmy Riddle is absolutely going to put flight academies in high schools in order to prepare for the world of drones, and drones is not all a military application, there's plenty of uh, commercial applications uh, for drones. We gave the example of Gulf Power, who has the Gulf Power Academy at West Florida, which they've employed 54 of the 200 graduates in the program. So we just encourage business to start owning niches all the way down to the educational level where they help provide the curriculum and support. In Florida, the state controls the standard, but the local school districts control the implementation, the contracts, and all the pieces that take place in your community. And that's a good structure for this kind of pipeline model. Okay, well, and so when we look at that model, uh, how important is it that uh, beyond folks that focus on the topic or educators, how important is it for businesses to get engaged in this conversation across the state, whether they're small or large? Well, I think the key is they don't need to get engaged in it, they need to take it over. Uh, if we have a corporation in a small town that's developing a new robust industry, they need to go into their own school system and say, can we take part of this and align it with what our workforce needs are? Because fundamentally the changes are taking so fa changing so fast in business now, it's very hard to get a institutional response to what you need. We'll make a program out of it. Uh, I think in the local community you can align those skill sets because the person starting the business knows specifically what they need and all we need to do is make the quick adjustment locally and not let the thing drift up to a state plan or a federal plan. The solution's local. Right. So, so would you say really that to compete in that 21st century economy, uh, the private sector really stepping in and, and owning and developing those programs is where it's at? Yeah, not, not being on boards, not writing checks and doing that kind of thing, but actually engaging and saying, okay, we're going to expand by 50 employees and two of the skill sets they need are blank, blank, blank and blank, 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 and we need them within 18 months on our projected timeline. Uh, Mr. Jones High School and Miss Jones High School, how well can we do that? I'll help you provide the resources, but here's what the outcome needs to look like. Not a high school diploma, which is a great thing, but in 18 months we need to have this, and basically here's what that job would look like in our community for our kids. Perfect. Well, Frank Fuller, thank you so much sure. on behalf of the Florida Chamber, uh, are working with the Florida Center, Senate leadership and yourself on this issue. It's just so important that we're all working together. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much. Thank you.